Hey, what's up guys? JC, Wrong Strong. And if you guys notice, I took a whole week off because finally I was able to establish a visitation schedule with my um, daughter and uh, kind of fix, you know, everything that's been going on with my baby's mom for the past couple of years. You guys already know, if you guys follow my story, you know, I, I, I messed up and I did something I shouldn't have done, what any man shouldn't, shouldn't do, and that's, you know, cheat. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, I was able to actually establish some visitation rights for my daughter, and I am back at In My Daughter's Life, so very blessed. I wanted to share that with you guys, my family, you know, my wrong and strong. <sighs> Familia, raza, you know, it's, it feels good, man, so I had to take a week off and, and kind of, like, let it settle in and get, you know, back into the groove of things, and um, I'm happy. I'm happy that she actually seen the change in me and decided to let me be a role model in her life. And um, yeah, things only get get better, guys. So, you know, today we got another episode about gang life in Chicago. As you guys know, I started doing a series a series on this just because when they had Gangland, you know, they did. Uh, you know, gangs here and there in Chicago, I think they only did the, uh, Land Kings, uh, no, actually, no, you know what, they did the Land Kings from New York, that's very, very different compared to Chicago, Chicago is the motherland, and when one of the kings left from Chicago and went to New York, they started what is called the Bloodline, and that's like a whole different, uh, Different video, diff, different everything. So you know, uh, let's not even get into that. Anyways, when they, when they did Gangland, they only did Land Kings, uh, SDs. Um, who else did they did, did they do from Chicago? They did the motorcycle, the uh, Outlaws too. But they didn't they didn't do a lot of gangs that deserve actually, you know the 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 spotlight, and I, I shouldn't say, I shouldn't say it like deserve is that it's it's history, it's there, it's been there. You know, Chicago has a very very unique history in gang culture because it has its own unique culture, from you know the the graffiti to to like the the war sweaters, the the party sweaters, um, the the signs, you know the 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 characters everything so you know today we're going to talk about two gangs that have the same name but really don't so it's two for the price of one today let's get into this video in a city known for its fearsome super gangs criminal enterprise like the mob gangs chicago has its own culture from graffiti on the walls to how the south side and the north side are separated in Chicago, it's where you're born that defines who you are, not your race. This is Gang Life. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I was picked to my back for my shoelaces. God, I should have seen the look on their Hey, what's up, guys? Sorry for that long-ass introduction. <laughs> my name is JC. I am Wrong and Strong. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please smash that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you don't miss nothing whenever I upload videos. And today, it's about two gangs that have the same name. So, Raza, Subansela Suburban. Let's get in this ride, put gas in it, and let's roll from the north side to the south side because this is how far these two gangs are, but they have the same unique name. I am talking about the Dragons. There's two gangs in Chicago called Dragons. They're Insane Dragons and there's Latin Dragons, completely on both opposite sides of Chicago. And both are pretty pretty old gangs. I mean, 
The Insane Dragons was founded in 1970 in uh, west of Humble Park. Uh, colors are gray and maroon. And the primary, you know, ethnicity, ethnicity, you know, I can't talk for shit. <laughs> it's Puerto Ricans, Boricuas, you know what I'm saying? And uh, symbols go from the diamond, dragon, torch, fire. I mean, it is st it's still an active gang that's been around for a while. You know, um, a brief history with them is by like the 19 early 90s, the dragons and the C notes were in an all out war and it um, had stopped. And then two gangs had become best, best, they had become allies, but then shit hit the fan again. Dragons have been well ran and organized for a while. I mean, even since they started, they have not lost lost very much turf. Um, in 1979, the, the Dragons became attached to the Insane Alliance along with the Spanish Cobras. And that's like another another like episode I would have to do where I explain the insane gangster all these abbreviations that on these gangs go on to their names and actually make them affiliated with others like cousins first cousins second cousins stuff like that it's it's crazy because it's very 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 well organized where all this is combined now the Latin dragons these are on the south side. These were the Latin Dragons were founded in 1979 by Jaws in the South Side of Chicago. They were formerly known as Almighty. There goes one of those, you know, abbreviations that I told you about. Almighty Latin Dragons. From like 1981 to 1996. Colors are black and white. Primary ethnicity. <laughs> oh man, sometimes I laugh at myself, man, because I can't talk. <laughs> Primary ethnicity is Mexicano, Raza. Uh, symbols is the diamond, the dragon. They're still active. Uh, the land dragons began in the year of 1979. I already said that in the intersection of 87th and the south side of Chicago. The Latin, the Latin dragons were pretty close to the land counts in the 1980s. And, you know, more gangs started to move into the south side over there. Land kings, uh, Spanish gangster disciples, black gangster disciples. It's a very, like, mixed neighborhood on that side of town. You know, by the, uh, the mid-1980s, Jaws was killed in a uh, drug deal gone bad. And it was it would say that they he left the uh, the the spot to Mario to take over. Um, the dispute started with the Land Kings in the mi nineteen I want to say mid nineteen nineties, and and it caused things to dramatically change for the Dragons. By nineteen ninety six, the Land Dragons have had dropped out of the People Nation. That's the five point star that I explained to you guys on my last video. And if you haven't watched that, I'll put the link on, on the cards. But, you know, it's what side you're picking, people or folks. So the, Lat the, the Latin Dragons were actually used to ride with the five before they came over to the, uh, to the folk nation. And that's because they started having really big beef with the Land Kings, the Counts, the Black Peastones, and the uh, Spanish Vice Lords. But... They're ruthless. Don't get it. Don't get it twisted. They are ruthless. They haven't lost much turf at all through all the years. And there's a lot of gangs in Chicago, man, that I'm gonna, you know, have on this on this series about gang life. But there's a lot of gangs in Chicago that you would not even comprehend how they've been able to keep one block just protected from way bigger army gangs that are surrounding them on you know left right back there's a section of uh deuces they're called colorton deuces but now I, they combined with the other insane deuces but there is a block of deuces and it's, it's they're called colorton deuces back in the day they were by they were by this toys r us and then it's the sds the land kings and then sds again and they're surrounded and they've managed to keep that block locked 
and secure. This is why I, I want to do these videos. I want to do this series about all these. There's over 250 gangs active in Chicago right now. So this is going to be a long series, you know. I decided to do the, the Insane Dragons and the Land Dragons together just because a lot of people get confused when they go into the system and they, they think that they're the same and they're not. My boy Johnny, he was a Land Dragon. We, we went to do time together to, uh, we went to Joliet. From Joliet, we got sent to Jacksonville. But he was a Land Dragon. Uh, Cool ass dude, solid ass dude, had my back 100%. We got into a couple little scuffles in Jacksonville, but always had my back. He knew how to throw, he know how to, he knew how to box. He knew how to throw hands. He was he was a good guy, solid dude. Um, last I heard, as soon as we got out, he was gunned down actually in a gangway over there by his hood. Uh, Cause it's a, it's a little ruthless where 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 these uh, gangs are on the south side. It's it's a uh, it's a uh, almost. Uh, how can I say? There's like a gang on each block, so it's a little, it's a little crazy. It's, it's a little different when your organization, you know, has a big turf because you have more to, you know, kind of like cruise around and move around in. But when you have block after block with different people, because there's everything on that side of town. There's counts, Ambrose, uh, Spanish, Spanish vice lords, black vice lords. There, there's everything over there. So. You know, um, there's a lot of suburbs in Chicago, like Bolingbroke, that are the same, same story, same scenario, same layout. And like I said, throughout the series, I'll, I'll start sharing more about these gangs. But Insane Dragons, Latin Dragons, completely different, you know, uh, symbols, colors, everything. One's on the uh, opposite side of Chicago. It's, you know, West Side, Humble Park. The other one's on the South Side, 87th, all the way up into the Wild Hundreds. You know what I mean? All that is completely two different gangs. Yeah. It's another episode of Gang Life. My name's JC. I am Wrong to Strong. And you know what it is, guys. Don't judge nobody. Give somebody a hug. Stay in your lane. Live savage, and we only have one life to live, but if you live it right, one life is all you need. My name is JC. This is Gang Life.